I'm so happy that, that you all come and have committed to this time of fellowship and being together. We'll, we'll be looking into God's Word and see how God calls us to live our lives. Let's just begin by going around the group and maybe sharing why you're here or a topic that you'd like to see us discuss tonight. Connie, would you? I wanted to be a part of the Bible study because although I don't have trouble accepting God's forgiveness for myself, sometimes I have trouble forgiving other people. So I hope we talk about forgiveness. Well, I'm here because I like to get to know other people, but I also want to learn more about God's true power and authority. I'm here because my wife made me so. But since I'm here, I guess I'd like to learn more about how God would have us deal with sin and temptation. I'm here because Sonda invited me, and I'm interested in what God has to say about relationships. <laughs> well, I came here to improve my relationship with God. But I'm struggling with material things. Like, how much do we really need? I can, because they weren't invited. I guess I'm trying to figure this God thing out. Well, well, thank you. Let's, let's look into God's Word and see what the Bible has to tell us about some of the topics that you mentioned. <coughs> For example, with regard to temptation, we'll find that Satan tempted Jesus at his weakest moment when he was hungry and tired. And Jesus rebuked him by quoting Scripture. We'll find that Jesus teaches us about forgiveness and sin and about our relationship with others. He commanded us to love each other unconditionally, as in the parable of the Good Samaritan. We'll see that Jesus gives us the example of humility by washing the disciples' feet. You see, if we take the time to study God's Word, we'll find that He has an answer for our every situation and our every need. We'll see about Jesus' power and authority through raising Lazarus from the dead and other miracles. Finally and most importantly, we'll see what Jesus did for us while we were yet sinners. Through his betrayal, trial, crucifixion, and then resurrection, which gives us great cause for revival. Well, let's begin our time together with a word of prayer. Let's pray. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, thank you for this time you've allowed us to come together. We pray that our hearts and minds might be open so that your word and your Holy Spirit might touch us. We might apply what you show us tonight. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's begin by opening our Bibles to Matthew 4.
is the highest point in Jerusalem. If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down from here. For it is written, He will give His angels charge concerning you, and on their hands they will lift you up. So you will not strike your foot against a stone. On the other hand, it is written, You shall not put the Lord your God to the test.
sorry to tell you, Mr. Lee, I don't know that they sir. A certain money lender had two debtors, one owing him an amount equal to 500 days pay, the other owing him an amount equal to 50 days pay. When they could not repay him, he graciously forgave them both. Which is supposed to love him more? I suppose the one whom he forgave more. You have judge corrected. You see this woman? When I entered your house, and you are a Pharisee, yet you gave me no water for my feet. But she has wet my feet with her tears and dried them with her hair. You did not kiss me, but she, since the time she came in, has not ceased to kiss my feet. You did not anoint my head with oil, but she anointed my feet with perfume. For this reason I say to you, though her sins are many, she has been forgiven. Because she has loved so much. You, who has forgiven little, loves little. Who is this Jesus? Oh, my God. 
Spirit has chosen a good one, me which shall not be taken away. Jesus! 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 I hear the children! Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait. Come on, chill, man, chill. Jesus is too busy.
Teacher, how may I inherit eternal life? You are a teacher of the law. What is written? How does it read? <laughs> Love your Lord as your God, with all your heart, all your soul, with all your strength, with all your mind. And love your neighbor as yourself. You have answered correctly. Do this and you will live. And who is my neighbor? One day a man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho when he fell into the hands of robbers. Oh, the Lord is dead. Yes, I'm anxious to get to Jericho to get my business conducted. Well, here's where we go our separate ways. Peace be with you. Since 
just touched me, I know I would be healed. Throw down your cane and see. Oh, it is coming to me! Oh, Jesus!
Well, he turned around and saw Gideon standing by the door. Walked up and said, hey, brother, tell me what's this group here for? Gideon said, well, all right, this is testimony night. Have a seat, man, because the meeting starts with soon. While well, Mary and Martha just wanted to see the last rush. Oh, last rush. When will their last rush? Moses shook his stick and said, now this meeting come to order. Can I get a witness for the Lord tonight? Oh, Abraham kicked it off and said, uh, I want you all to know that I knew him. He gave a child to my married wife. Now Isaac waved his hand and said, hey, daddy, I knew him too. Jacob jumped up and said, amen, grandpa preacher. Oh, dignified Solomon, he just adjusted his robes and said, uh, I knew him. He made me so smart, I started to teach it. Ezekiel said, I knew him as a wheel with a wheel. Job said, man, he healed me when I was almost dead. And Samson said, I knew him when some Philistines tried to jump me. He gave me a donkey jawbone and I'll bust him two heads. <laughs> Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego says we do it in the Bible verse. Jonah said, man, he gave me a second chance. Daniel cried out, I knew him in a hungry den of wives. The Holy Ghost hit King David. He just started the dance. Well, Lazarus got so excited, he said, hey, I knew him too. Moses put down his stick and said, uh, who's the new king? Needless to say, the room got real quiet when Lazarus said that I knew it in a way that you all never did. You see, I walked with him and talked with him. I saw how the crowds were all at night teaching. Those famous tears of compassion, I could actually see them. Why, he used to come over to our house all the time. My sisters would fix him dinner. We faithfully supported his ministry. You see, I watched him confront the Pharisees. I was there when he fed the 5,000. I heard the crowds gasp as he healed the lame. I remember the littlest things he used to do. Things most folks would forget. Like the simple loving way he used to call my name. Now up at the gravestone rolled away. Jesus begins to speak. You see, brothers, it just seemed like yesterday. I could hear that man saying my name. As a matter of fact, it's almost kind of like the day I could hear that man talking. Uh, excuse me, brothers. I think I hear him calling me now. What? What are we doing? For this man is performing many miraculous 
sign. I tell you all, if we let this man continue like he is, many, many, no, all men will believe on him, and the rulers will come and take away both our place and our nation. You know nothing at all. Only you take into account it's better for you that one man should die for the people rather than the whole nation perish. We must deal with him. Yes. But it cannot be doing a festival or the people might riot. We have let it be known that we are seeking Jesus. Just talk to him. Who, who, who is this man? This is Jesus Jerry, one of the followers of Jesus. So where can we find this Jesus? Well, what are you willing to give to me? To deliver him up to you. <coughs> Here is 30 pieces of silver for your trouble. I will let you know when it's a good time. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh. 
sleeping? Rise and pray that you do not enter into temptation. Look, someone is coming. Who do you see? Jesus Nazareth. I am here. Whom do you see? 
saying? Jesus, the Nazarene. I told you, I am He. If therefore you seek me, let these go their way. Lord, should we strike me? Lord! Stop. No more of this. Have you come out with swords against robbers? While I was with you daily in the temple, you did not lay hands on me. Yet, this hour and power of darkness belongs to the evil one.
then surprisingly he turned his head, though the words he used were few. The soldier's face turned pale when he said, This blood is for you. Uncaringly they tossed a garment across his weakened form, and his blood pressure fell deathly low as the crowd began to swarm. They forced him to carry his cross uphill as his face they punched and smacked as the splinters from the crisscross beam dug deep into his back. Through lack of sleep and dehydration, his tongue began to swell, and weakened by his loss of blood, this prophet teacher fell. When he did, some blood spattered on a man named Simon's shoe, and as he bent to wipe it off, the prophet looked and said, Simon, this blood is for you. This blood can save the soul, heal the sick, yes, bend the heart. This blood can give you access to the very throne of God. And it still can go the distance through the pain to where you are. This blood is for you. The blood of the Lamb. <laughs> then they pounded a spike through the bones in his wrist, bursting arteries and veins. As they dropped the cross in the hole they dug, his body convulsed with pain. Through an agony and torment that never a soul shall find, he tilts his face towards heaven with full control of his mind. And with more love than any human heard before that time or since, he made a statement that to this day makes the strongest skeptic wince. He cried, Oh, Father God, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And as he gave his life for those lost in sin, he was saying, This blood is for you. This blood can save the soul, heal the sick, and mend the heart. This blood can give you access to the very throne. If you're lost and alone and your mind is confused, this blood is for you. If you feel like you have been hurt and abused, this blood is for you. The atoning, cleansing blood of the Lamb. This blood can save the soul, heal the sick, yes, and mend the heart. This blood can give
yet still alive. He said he would rise from the grave in three days. We want you to command the tomb to be made secure until the third day. We don't want any of his disciples to come and steal Jesus' body and say to the people that he's risen from the dead. The last deception will be worse than the first. Worse, worse. If you have a guard, go and make him as secure as you know how. Why did I have anything to do with that righteous man? Guard this tomb well. Is it secure? It is secure. Guard, sleep not, sleep not. You will be held account. Stand the post. We feel safe. We feel safe. It is safe. Drink no wine and sleep not. It is secure. Remember, nothing shall happen, happen now. We have the people back. You know, 
Jesus really is worthy to rule and reign. Not only over the whole world, but over my life as well. I don't need another formula to help me have a few more victories over sin and temptation. I need a life fully devoted to the one who died for me. Jesus, my Savior and my Lord. We have learned so much tonight about forgiveness and sin, temptation, our relationship with others, Jesus' power and authority. Let's end our time together by following Jesus' example. During his hour of greatest anguish, he went to the garden to pray. Let's go to my garden. Amory, could I speak to you a minute? Sure. I never realized that Jesus really was the Son of God, and that he died for my sin. What do I have to do to be with Jesus in heaven? Well, first, you have to be with God that you were a sinner. Then you must realize that Jesus died for you and paid the penalty for your sins. If you still believe that, then ask Jesus to come into your heart. God's word says that all call upon the name of the Lord will be saved. Would you like me to pray for you to receive Jesus? Yes, I know I'm a sinner, and Jesus died for me. Did you all hear the questions Julie was asking during Bible study? Yes, she surely is searching. She is. Yeah, the Word of God really is powerful. It sure touched my heart tonight. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Julie has the greatest news to tell you. I accepted Jesus as my Savior. Oh, oh my Jesus. Jesus. Welcome to the family of the Lord. Let's just thank God for His miracle of salvation. And let's pray that that we have the power from God as we're attacked from the evil one every day. And let's pray for revival for our country. Let's pray. Thank you. 
Lord will lift up a standard against you. It's written in the word. I have formed weapons against them. Sir, no weapon formed against them shall prosper. That's in the Bible too. Yes, I. Resist the devil and he must flee. Obviously, the enemy is taking the battle more seriously than we are. And that's very dangerous, sir. Especially for me. It's time to launch my final, most vicious attack. I'll remind the saints of their past. How they were liars, cheaters, manipulate us, moochers. Remind the saints of their past. And what is that? Sir, I'll just remind you of your future. We're kicking down the gates of hell, not stopping till the level. For the sentence of destruction on the forehead of the devil. Lift up your head to victory. This is our highest hour. For the sleeping giant called the church is rising up in power. Cry loud, spare not. This lion's got a roar. We may have lost the battle, but we will win this war. We made it through the fire, and our baby got is strong. For a revelation, generation, fire in our homes. Fill up with the Holy Ghost, trust in the Bible, fasten your seatbelt, thanks to God. The world is breaking forth in revival.
If it doesn't, something's wrong with your pumper. <laughs> you need some oil. Fix that pumper and it'll pump a lot easier. We're not here to entertain. We told you that before we began. We're here to minister. That's the story. Lord of all, then and now. It's not some old story that we've conjured up to make us feel good. It's the truth that we brought to set us free. Amen. He died on that cross at Calvary, but He didn't stay there. He was buried in that tomb, but He didn't stay there. He rose again on the third day to bring us life and to bring it more abundant. My friend, if you do not have life today, it's no one's fault but your own. Listen to me. Jesus died to give you life. And He wants you to take that life. He hung on that cross and He said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. He understood who we were when He hung on that cross. He took it all. He said, give me my sin. I'll take it. I can handle it. And He paid the price for me there on that cross. What about you? Well, I'll tell you this. He took it. He paid the price. But what about you?